let's start first with what's become a bit of a controversy the name india is it true that you were among those who had reservations about this name there were several others also who were not completely convinced about using the name india for this alliance No, no, not really reservations. There was a lot of discussion over what should happen. I and mean, in fact, I had suggested that we should call ourselves We for India. Mm -hmm. That was agreed upon, saying it's a very good slogan, but then uh, why don't we expand India? Mm -hmm. And then that expansion process, everybody contributed, so it became Indian National Developmental and Inclusive Alliance. Mm -hmm. And over the the various other names, I mean, options were suggested for each alphabet mm -hmm. in, in India. But uh, when finally, this is what the consensus was. So you wanted the name We for India. The BJP, at least a section of the BJP seems to suggest that this is an attempt by this opposition coalition to hijack the name India. That you shouldn't be taking the name of a country. Uh, you should be... A political party should be careful when they do that. How do you respond? Do you believe this acronym is simply clever branding by the opposition? Well, uh, what is the BJP's election symbol? Mm -hmm. Is it the national flower? Is that appropriate? What no, are they complaining about? Uh, they seem to suggest that this alliance is using, misusing the name India. You're, you're misusing the name India. You should be careful when you use the name of a country as it your says, acronym. Uh, it's as good as to say, we are saying it's I-N-D-I-A. Mm -hmm. That is the, that is the I mean, abbreviation. Okay, uh, and know, if they are if they are using lotus as the election symbol, is mm -hmm. this misusing the Indian national flower? Okay, so you're is it tantamount to that? Okay, so you're saying the BJP should look at its own symbol. Let's turn though to the meat of what uh, uh, many believe is the major challenge for you. One thing to put out a name, but your real nuts and bolts will include elements like, for example, seat sharing. It seems that you've already made it very clear there will be no seat-sharing yeah. alliance with the Trinamool Congress in Bengal. I mean, you all are having supper and uh, uh, dining out together at the West End Hotel in Bengaluru and you all are in a bloody fight in Kolkata. Make sense of this for us. What will your carders think that Sitaram Yechuri is on the same dinner table with Mamta Banerjee? Can I answer? Yes, please. Bangalore, Bangalore is, is far away from Calcutta. Next door is Kerala. Mm -hmm. And in Kerala, the CPM and the Congress are logged, uh, in, lodged in a direct flight. It's between the two of us. And that's why the BJP doesn't get even a single MLA elected. So mm -hmm. does it mean that one of us should stop fighting in Kerala? Will the Congress stop fighting us in Kerala? What logic is this? I mean, these are elections at the state level. At the state level, the actual nitty-gritties and the nuts and bolts, like you have said, that that will have to be worked out. That's a process that is begun. No, no, Mr. Yechuri, you know, let, let me just say that you've just gone through a very fractious, bitter, bloody panchayat poll in Bengal, where you and the Tinamul have been at each other's throats, literally. Now you go to Bengaluru and you decide you're all, all part of one alliance. Make sense of that for us. When you say these are state issues, how does no, that, Allah, how do you reconcile no, please that? Un, please With, understand one thing, Rajdeep. Huh. Please, please, please understand one thing. Don't, don't go into your hyperbole. This is an understanding among the secular-minded parties that BJP has to be kept away from controlling the reins of government and state power. Mm -hmm. This is the coming together of these parties. Mm -hmm. And don't get onto a hyperbole about sitting and having supper here and then fighting there. It will be fought there. The ground level realities in various states are different. Mm -hmm. It is different in Kerala, it is different in Bengal, it, and that those differences will be ironed out by the people in these elections. So, and there's nothing there's nothing new about it. I'm sure you are old you are old enough to recollect, Rajdeep, two thousand and four. Mm -hmm. Sixty one left MPs were elected to the Lok Sabha. Mm -hmm. 57 of them came defeating the Congress candidate. And then we supported the Manmohan Singh government. But may I, in the interest of no, the country. 